Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and in this HD video, we'll be taking a look at Chrome Deck, which is a combination of TweetDeck, which you may have heard of, it's an Adobe Air application for Twitter, and Chrome, which happens to be coming out very popularly right now as Chrome OS comes out and Chrome 9, the browser beta, has been released. I did a tutorial on that earlier. Uh, so there's really a, got a lot of good features that you can get out of Chrome uh, and to use Chrome Deck as a web-based application as opposed to a desktop mm -hmm. app. So without any further ado, today are my top Chrome Deck tips. So to start it all off, Chrome Deck is available at the link in the description where you'll visit the Chrome Web Store where Chrome Deck is actually free to download. It goes by the name Tweet Deck, but since it's available in Chrome, let's call this version Chrome Deck. So you can install it from right there just like a Chrome extension would, and you'll immediately have it in your new tab section under Apps, and you can open Tweet Deck just from right there. I'll call it Tweet Deck from now on. And boom, if you've ever used TweetDeck, you're pretty much already familiar with and you will probably already know how to use Chrome Deck because it looks exactly like TweetDeck. Adding a column just like in TweetDeck is as simple as you would expect. Just hit that arrow up top and pick a column that you'd like to add. It'll give you a preview of it and you can hit the add column button in the blue. That's it. Also, moving around those columns that you've added was actually really easy for me to figure out. All I did was eventually just grab that bar at the top of a column and drag it to move, and it locked itself into place, and that was pretty simple. You can move whatever column you want, wherever you want. I could imagine using something like this in Chrome OS, where everything is browser-based and just really easy to figure out. So without any further ado, let's take a look at that Compose window up at the top, which is a separate feature. And what does this remind you of? Yep, that's right, TweetDeck. Uh, the thing is, you can't exactly change the colors like you can in the real version of TweetDeck, but you still have all the same features as in adding media like I showed you, composing a tweet and having a tweet counter, and also being able to choose what account to post from, like a Twitter account or a Facebook account or a Buzz account, or really whatever you want. Another tip is that since this is a web-based application, everything that would work on a regular website will work with Chrome Deck. So like zooming in, for example, if you're hard of sight and you really, really need to zoom in, you can do that. Same thing with printing and all those other functions in full screen. They'll all work on Chrome Deck. Also, the URL bar at the top is empty because it's not a website, but you can still use it to Google search. When viewing a tweet, which you will probably be doing in TweetDeck, you'll have the options to uh, do a couple of things. You'll be able to reply to a person in a separate pop-out window so you can actually see their tweet as you reply to it. And you can also, you know, favorite their tweet and retweet them, direct message the person, and a number of other things. All those things that are available, and I guarantee you the Twitter client you're using on your desktop. Pretty cool. Oh, oh, and another feature I wanted to tell you guys about is uh, infinite scrolling on the home timeline, or any of your timelines. Just keep on dragging that click bar down to the bottom, and it'll keep refreshing and reloading and redrawing and repulling all those tweets. Yeah, if you really just really want to catch up on your timeline, haven't been on Twitter in a while, there you go. All right, so the last feature I'll show you guys is uh, viewing Twitter profiles. So for example, I want to see who this guy YouTube is. I can go ahead and click on his name, and it'll draw all his specs and what lists I have him in and etc. And you can even follow him with that follow button if you haven't already. So that's pretty cool and uh, to be expected from an online Twitter client. But yeah, those are all the tips I've got for you today for Chrome Deck. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys more information about Google Chrome and Chrome OS in the near future as I have... Uh, applied for the pilot program to get a Chrome OS notebook that I'll be able to give you guys a lot more information on. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, this has been MKBHD signing out. Peace.